Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peter Likes Books. Say hi, Pee Pee. Hello. Um, today we are going to do, Pee Pee and I, we are gonna do the Big Brother book tag, and it's original book tag by Bookworm Becca, and Becca reached out to me on my uh, main Twitter and on my booktube Twitter, I have two, so please go follow both if you like. <clears throat> and she was like, I know how much you love Big Brother. If, you, if I did an original book tag, would you, um, would you do it? And I was like, absolutely. Number one, I love book, tu book tags. I love booktube too, but I love book tags. Number two, I love Big Brother. And number three, I love booktube book tags that are about Big Brother. So let's just get right into this, shall we? Um, I'm gonna link it below. You guys, please go check her out. I love this gal. And uh, you know, she could use any kind of help. We all could use a little bit of help for subscribers. Please do this book tag. It's a really fun book tag. I've only read a few of the questions because I want to be surprised. It's what I always do, but I watched about a third of the video. So I'm just trying, like I try to watch it and then like not remember it, if that makes sense. Because I like to be surprised by my own answers. I know. It's like playing a game. When you're an only child like I am, you like teach yourself how to play games, but you make these ridiculous rules. So here it is. If you don't know what you don't know is a lot, okay? Big Brother is this TV show where all these people are put in this house and they're eliminated by one by one and then the one that's in there at the end, they're the one that wins. It would be me if they ever had me on there, but they won't. Okay, so she tagged in here. Oh, she tagged me, Peter Likes Books and Sam's Nonsense. Okay, this is, oh my Lord, 15 questions. Okay, number one, you just found your Big Brother house key. What three books are you bringing into the Big Brother house? I would bring... Mm, the basic text of Alcoholics Anonymous. I would bring, um, oh, something, I, I mean, I'm gonna be in there all summer. Helter Skelter, because I haven't read it, and it's two books. And then I would bring that Dale Carnegie's How to Make Friends and uh, Manipulate People, or whatever that's called. I know it's not called Manipulate People, but whatever it's called. Number two, you're finally in the Big Brother house with all of your fellow housemates. Choose a book with an eclectic cast of characters. Oh, that's good. Um, an eclectic cast of characters. Alliteration. Um, probably Six of Crows. That's the first thing that came off my head because of, you know, the Crow Crew. <laughs> Number three, you introduce yourself as an uber fan of Big Brother, which I am. Um, what book series are you totally obsessed with? I'm totally obsessed with anything by Julie Murphy. Um, <clears throat> I will also say that I'm completely obsessed with Rhiannon Freighter's As the World Dies zombie series. I love it. And I think there's three books in it, but then she has like three spinoffs. And um, they're just fantastic if you like zombie stuff. Number four, the head of household competitions tests you physical skill and mental skills. What book has a little bit of everything? Physical and mental skills. Oh, that's really good. I mean, I could say, well, I would say Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, or I would say Six of Crows. Six of Crows is like getting, it's like winning for all the answers, isn't it? Um, head of Household. Number five, you just won your first Head of Household competition. Oh my God, I can't wait to see my pictures of all my family and friends and get the candy that I like and all that kind of stuff. Okay. <laughs> Who wants to see my HOH room? Well, you know that bitter Jessica from this season, she just wanted to sit her ass down. Her and Cody, they're like, we're not going up there. Do you guys watch Big Brother? You know what I'm talking about then. What is your favorite reading spot? Oh, in the Big Brother house? Not in the bed. I can't read in a bed. I'm not very good reading in bed. The only time I read in bed is if I'm like read, like laying sideways and I'm reading on my Kindle. Um, I like the chair that they have. Like not the two chairs that are over here, but like the chair that's over there that people put their feet up. I like that. That's where I would read. Because then I can see the door and I like to have my back to the wall because I don't trust people. No, because there's some shady people out there. Um, no, I, I, that way I could watch the door when people are coming in, but I could also kind of peek and I'd be like this. I'm winning this game. <laughs> that's how I would be. Okay, number six. Some other house guests want to form an alliance with you. Choose a book with a great family dynamic. Oh, that's such a good question. These are really good. Becca, I'm so impressed. Um, what a good book tag. I love when people put book tags together. <sighs> a book with a great family dynamic. That's a really hard question. Um, what's a book that I love that has a great family dynamic to it? Well, I mean, The Little House in the Prairie series by Laura Ingalls Wilder. I love those books. Um, <clears throat> there are, things are heating up in the Big Brother house and showmances are starting to form. Choose a book with a great romance. Oh, I mean, we are the ants. 
The Fault in Our Stars, Boy Meets Boy. I mean, Will Grace and Will Grace. I mean, I mean, there's just so many, right? I don't like, I like, like, unpredictable love. I don't like trite love. Like, oh, I read him in it, blah, 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 and it was so fun, and yeah, 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 and all that kind of stuff. Oh, also, The Before, Now, and After Then by Peter Mon has a great, ro I heard it has a great romance in it. Okay. It's a cheesy love story. That's how I used to describe it. Okay. Uh, number eight, it's time for the nomination ceremony. What two books would you nominate for eviction? <laughs> Sorry, Joey. Joey Graceffa's Children of Eden and Mary Kay Nig, whatever her name is, Chomps. Uh, this is where it ends. Oh, and for a third, because this season, she didn't put this on here, but for this season, they, all, they also have a third nominee. Um, I would put on there, um, what's that third book? The Woman in Cabin 10, and I would hope she would go first and just sink on out the door. Okay. It, number nine, it's time to pick two Pick players for the power of veto competition. What book character do you want by your side? Um, what a good question. What book character do I want by my side? <clears throat> oh, why can't I think of her name? I want the chick from Sender that, like, she can glamour people. Do you know what I'm talking about? So if they only see her as beautiful, that's who I want by my side. <laughs> she can just glam people all over the place. The Lunar Queen, what's her name? I've only read the first one, so don't ruin it for me. I mean, I didn't like her. I mean, you're not supposed to like her. She's a villainess, right? Okay. But I mean, she'd be a good veto player. It's time to pick... Okay, number 10. It's time for the li live eviction. What book would you cast your vote to evict from your shelf? Well, I don't have any books right now that I would evict from. I don't keep books that I don't like, typically. So probably... Um, okay, so Alex and I both have two copies. Each. He has a copy and I have a copy of every Augustine Burroughs book. So probably... The Wolf at My Table, or The Wolf at Our Table, because that was like my least favorite of Augustine Burrow, Augustine Burroughs, Augustine Burroughs books. Okay, um, number 11, the Zing Bot has entered the Big Brother house. Again, choose a character with a snarky sense of humor. Hmm. God, that's such a good question. Hold on. Um, let's see. I'm like going into my like books on my. Oh, well, these are books that I haven't finished. A book with a, 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 blah, 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 a character with a snarky sense of humor. Kaz Brecker, I think, you know, from Six of Crows. I mean, Six of Crows has totally won this whole thing. Did I lose my place in this? Okay. Uh, number 12. You made it to the jury house and it's time to finally relax. What's the perfect poolside read? Oh, my God. Anything by Leanne Moriarty. I'm going to Miami next week and I'm reading Truly Madly Guilty or whatever. I cannot wait. Okay. Big Little Lies. Best book I read all summer long. It was so easy. Oh, I mean, not best book I've read all summer long. The Hate You Give is hands down the best book I've read. But I mean, and Ramona Blue was so good. But like a good poolside read to just get away from your mind and not think about things. Number three, but I wouldn't have made it to the jury house. I would have won the whole thing. Let's, can we just make that clear? I would have won all Big Brother. Half a million dollars, maybe right here, okay? And I would have run the All Stars too. Number 13, by unanimous vote, you've been evicted. Oh, no, I just said I wasn't evicted from the house. You've been evicted from that Big Brother house, but at least you get to meet Julie Chen. Who'd care? What book always cheers you up? <laughs> oh, uh, you know, it's so crazy because I say this is my favorite book of all time, and I know it's kind of a tragic story, but To Kill a Mockingbird um, always cheers me up. It just is, it's very just childhood innocence to me. Excuse me. So I love that book so much. It just means the world to me. I love, it means the world to me. It just makes me so happy, you know, like, and not all of it, but some of the parts were just Jim and Dill and Scout are sitting around talking and it's just the funny parts, you know, like I love that. And I love the idea of hope. And I think the book is a lot about hope. Um, number 14, the big brother motto is expect the unexpected. What book is more than it seems? <laughs> well, Six of Crows. Um, <clears throat> what book is more than expected? You know, I really went into The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, and I didn't expect it to be as profound and life-changing as it was for me. <clears throat> I've talked on here a lot in other videos about how I feel like that book should be taught in schools, and that I think... I mean, Angie Thomas is a phenomenal author. I mean, she just... She is, it's just, it just blows me away. Um, I'm very excited to see what comes of her further after this, because I think she is an author of her times. I think she will win the Pulitzer at some point. I, re I really do. 
Um, it's not just a young adult book. It is so timely, so important. Every adult needs to read this book. It's especially a timely right now, and um, I don't want to ruin it for anybody. But, you know, when you read a book and you go into it and you've heard like, hey, this is a really great book, five stars, you know, whatever, or I can't put it down. But then when you read it and you are changed as a person, changed as a person, okay, then the book has become something else. And, I, and I, for me, it's The Hate You Give. That book was just, it was life-changing. And the final question, time to make a final two deal. Who do you tag? Oh my God, who should I tag? Well, books and Lala, because I love Lala so much. Lala! And I would just love to, like, go out to coffee with her and hang out. And um, then also Cam at Wolf Shop Publishing, because he actually does my tags when I tag him in it. So, hey, Cam! So, yeah, Cam and Lala. Cam and Lala, Lala and Cam. I love those names. Anyway, I just love names, character names. If you're an author, you think of character names all the time. So, thank you so much, Becca, for this tag. This is an amazing tag. Anybody should do this. If you watch Big Brother do this tag, it's a lot of fun. It really does kind of make you think about being in the house at the same time that you're reading the questions. So, what a fun summer tag! The end of Big Brother is coming soon, too, so just to say. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.